room 318, the room I stayed in last night. This is the hallway of the Lake Lure Inn. A lot of appointments. A lot of old paintings. Photographs of the old days. Let's see, this is 1928. It was built in 1927. Made at the far end. gift shop. And the restaurant. And you hear the music in the background. It's throughout the hotel.
as we enter the Chimney Rock, there will be a lot of little shops uh, on the left and right. Alright, this is the front building on 401 Main, the river property. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yeah, ma'am. That's a good shot of you. If there is one. Oh, there's always one. Yep. All right. I'll spade into the... All right. This is walking back to the upper level back unit. You'll notice the walkway down to the river. All right, walking on back to the unit. All right, this is the office. If I can get a little light going on here. fireplace window air unit little restroom you see we're right next to the entrance chimney rock state park Also, still a direct TV dish here. Very nice deck. Goes right out to the river. Still a nice table and chairs. Uh, another set over there. Looks like had umbrellas. Ah, the best part of the whole deal. Rocky Broad River. I could just sit here for hours and listen to this water. Just kind of commune. Down here close, you can see how we're right over the river. Alright, this is the lower unit. Woo, beautiful benches. Well, I'd love to have these back home. Anyway, kind of beautiful benches. Then there's a walkway right down to the river. Uh, somebody's opened the gate. Been up here, it looks like.
So here's a here's a table back here. Stairs back up. Looks like two entrances here. Hope there's enough light in here to be able to see everything. Uh, speakers in there. TV had a Blu-ray TV with great sound system. Uh, the closet with all the connections, internet, everything. Still equipment here. Some really nice office furniture. Uh, computer equipment. Printer. Hope there's enough light here. There's a kitchen. Refrigerator. Still here. Even got a bottle of water. Microwave. Window air unit. The second door. And a restroom. Let's see, we've got a sink. Hot water feeder. But I don't see a shower. Probably that area could be made into a shower. Alright, this is the front unit. Uh, this is the one that could be uh, used as a little food and beverage establishment right on the river walk. Uh, restroom, sink. And let's see, oh, stainless steel sinks. Cleaning stuff, uh-huh, okay. Got a stainless steel work table. Uh, napkin dispenser. Another stainless steel working table. Fair size hot water heater and yet another sink for the employees to wash their hands. Uh, windy in it, which is probably sufficient. Two serving windows sliding back and forth. Pretty neat little deal. This is the outside view. Kind of a panorama of things that are around it. Here's Chimney Rock with the flag on it. And Hickory Nut Falls. Let's see if I can get it. Highest waterfall in North Carolina, I believe it's 472 feet that it drops. All right, back over here, this mountain right across from it is uh, a land development that Darren and I did called Cliffside at Hickory Nut Falls, which is right across from the falls and the falls up there are where 
Last of the Mohicans was filmed, that whole area all the way across here. And also down the road where I stayed last night at Lake Lure is where Dirty Dancing was filmed. down to the river walk, just a couple doors down from 401 Main. Now this is two doors down, or three doors, you can see they're kind of busy. an idea of the room. Standard size room. TV. Air conditioning is a wall unit. Nice touch. Two mints on the bed. Sparkling water. Bathroom. Old style but very clean. Neat. All the amenities and all of them have the Lake Lure name on them. Shower, nice touch, one of those big shower sprays that are so nice. These are the boat docks. <clears throat> Back in there is where Dirty Dancing was filmed. Beautiful mountains.
quite a few cars for a Monday. Ah, uh, beginning to rain. All right, now this is the entrance of the log cabin. Alright, driving up to the log cabin, raining pretty hard. Uh, you'll notice it's grown up quite a bit. Uh, no maintenance been done along the road. So, grown up quite a bit. A lot of trees. Alright, there's the log cabin in the distance. Turning into it. Uh, raining pretty hard. Alright, this will give you an idea of the outside. It's got a green roof, chimney there, metal roof, porch all the way around. I want to see if I can get in without being drenched. See, it's sort of the dovetail log corners. A uh, few yellow jacket nests. Now, here's something interesting. This looks like where bees. of a wood boring bee. Yep, there they are. So they dig in or bore in and then when it's up high the woodpeckers dig even further. So that's something we will definitely have to attend to. There's one spot here, looks like boars may have started into it. Uh, here's another thing, see these high lines though? That uh, could be a, a detrimental look, we'll say. Outside uh, wash sink. All right, coming in the front door, a little place to hang your coat and stuff, sort of a little closet area. All right, uh, I believe Karen referred to this as the washroom. Okay. Kitchen. Kitchen area, a lot of cabinets, uh, looks like a granite countertop, it's a gray double stainless steel sinks, dishwasher, uh, stove and oven, four burner countertop, side by side refrigerator freezer door that goes out. Let me back up and get the... All right, this is the living room. Fireplace. You can see Wayne's coat up to about 30 inches. Then looks like tech stone up to the ceiling, which is pretty high. 
ceiling fan, double windows, and the fireplace. Uh, there is a plug-in in the floor. Plenty of plug-ins on the wall. Looks like uh, speakers piped in. Look out these windows. Beautiful mountain scenery. Second fireplace. Kind of a little inset area here. See if we can go out the back door. Okay, like I said, porches all the way around. Be nice for rocking chairs in the evening. Look at the sunset over these mountains. Of course, it's raining now and uh, hard to really get the beautiful mountain views, although the rain is very nice. All right, double doors to the master bedroom. We'll go in there in just a minute. Uh, anyway, you can walk directly out on the porch and also see the mountain views from the bedroom. Okay. All right, this is from outside of the master bath. You can see a jacuzzi uh, mode and the shower stall. A bit of the sink. Okay, uh, another thing here, a caution. Looks like a couple of holes where woodpeckers may have made a couple of holes. Those that need repaired. And over here you can see the uh, propane tank is buried underground. So that's for the heat and cooking. Okay, this is a small bedroom. closet a little dark in there a bedroom uh, sorry mode then tub and shower actually this is the washroom Still needs the doors to be put on. A closet. Okay, the master bedroom. Definitely needs a good cleaning. Nice views if you were in the hot tub. Uh, you can see a lot of stuff in the tub, so it definitely needs cleaning, no question. Beautiful view from your master bed, looking out at the mountains. Okay, stairs down to the lower level. Alright, lower level is unfinished. You can see the cement walls. There's the back door. Okay, window. Alright, uh, central air and heat unit. Uh, it's a little dark back here. Okay, one 
spot back here. There's a little mold in the corner. That's going to have to be cut out and a new sheet block placed in it. And then over here is an unfinished bathroom. Maybe I can get a shot here. Uh, work materials. You can see the tub. It's got a plastic uh, wall around it. Uh, it's, it looks like not completely finished. A uh, place to set the commode. Alright. All this stuff is new, but you wouldn't know it. All right, in here is the garage. Uh, looks like there's a big vacuum here. That's handy. All right, so uh, big garage, there's one door, one entrance door, uh, but it's definitely wide enough for two or even three vehicles in here. The water well pump. Uh, you can't see it, but a control panel up here for all that. Oh, here we go. Okay. All right, so it needs to be finished out. Uh, some cleanup work done. Some sheetrock replaced. Uh, these walls that need to be finished out. A little more of that black mold. That's a no-no. Uh, you can see by the ceiling height there really is room for a loft bedroom up above the other bedrooms and I honestly thought there was one. Uh, but I don't see a route up, so uh, anyway, there is definitely room up there for one and should be one. So currently, it looks like two bedroom, two bath. If the lower level was finished, there'd be three bedrooms, three baths, and one upstairs, if uh, one was put up there, would make it four bedroom and also put a bath up there. So four bedroom, four bath. Someone must live nearby. Got a little cat for a neighbor. Looks pretty healthy, so pickings must be pretty good. And looks like one neighbor up here on the hill. Otherwise, there is not a any other construction in the area. Uh, maybe another one right next to that. Yep. But again, these beautiful mountain views. And already wired for Dish Network. Nice all-weather blacktop road. Uh, goes down here, makes a turnaround. Beautiful walking trails down through here. And remote, quiet, very quiet, uh, lots of nature. And let me get you a shot of 
Okay, this is looking up at the cabin. Here's the start of the hiking trail, or one of the hiking trails. <laughs> 